gonna have a look at the top of the car parks this time uh, for the new what will be new Westfield. Uh, obviously, Focus House and London House will be demolished with orders or go. This car park's going, so we'll have a look around. Yeah, the last video I done on this was when we walked done a perimeter walk around. So this time I'll go up on the top of both multi-storey car parks and uh, have a look at the uh, have a look at it from above. all the multi-storey car park, we'll have a look around anyway. Yeah, all these buildings are going to come down. Yeah, this is one of the entrances to the Whitgift Centre, through those doors there. This one, this is all this car park and the Whitgift car park. Yeah, so the, this car park will go and the uh, Whitgift car park, which we'll have a look at in a minute, that's also going. So I don't mind me, I'm just doing a video with a car park. <laughs> oh, okay. No, that doesn't open. Okay, I'll go that way around. Two ladies wondering what I was doing, that was all. Yeah, this is the car park. Yeah, all these buildings will go, this will go. The roof of the Whitgift Centre down there. stand above the Whitgift Centre. All that glass roofing over there, that's all the Whitgift. All got to go.
all the down here, will, all this will go. This building's staying for now, but there is plans that I did read about a while back. They're going to build a 52-storey tower on HSBC and this building, Meridian House, 11 Wellesley Road. There are separate developers doing that, but I don't know when that's going to start. The building over there is the quarters, that used to be St Anne House, that was converted into apartments a couple of years back. Let's take a look over this side now. If you want to wait over there, John, just wait for me and I'll be over there so as you're walking around. Yeah, that's my brother-in-law, John. <coughs> yeah, those two corners there, those two big towers rising there, that's uh, 101 George Street. And they're completely be the world's tallest modular skyscrapers. I've done a video on those, so if you want to check that out, 101 George Street. There's also plans for a 26 storey building on uh, Cambridge House there. That four storey building there, I'm going to pull that down. That should be starting this year sometime, maybe early next year. I'm going to put a 26 storey tower there. I've done a video on that as well. So, Cambridge House. So, that's worth checking out. Yeah, that's going. Focus House and London House over there is going. Orders there, that's going the old orders building. Uh, yeah, you've got quite a good view up from up here. Yeah, we're going to check the other car park out in a minute, the Whitgift car park. This is the orders car park. September next year, September 2019, they're supposed to be starting demolition. It's unclear whether they'll stick to that date or it'll be put forward again, we don't know yet. Pigeons. Yeah, yeah crane over there. That there with a yellow crane that's uh, 28 to 30 Addiscombe Grove that's a 21 storey modular tower so there's two modular developments there 101 George Street and 28 to 30 Addiscombe Grove both under construction St George's House has already started work on that being converted I've, got, I've done a video on that as well so you can check that out if you like yeah that's Alders there Central over there, shopping centre, and there, the right bit building there, that's all central. That's Croydon's other big shopping centre. Yeah. Got some great views from up here, that's Sutton over there. Those buildings, over the back there, Sutton. The IKEA towers over there used to be Croydon B Power Station a long time ago now. They knocked the power station down and built the uh, IKEA store there. Around about 1991 that was. Let's see here. Look at 
exhausted. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go down and uh, check the other car park then. Can't go that way. Must be the other, the other side. As you can see, Croydon's got quite a skyline. Looking in that view, all 1960s office blocks. Yeah, most of them are due to come down though. One. Yeah, this one, this is it. Just check this level out. Just have a look. It's no good doing all of them because they're all pretty much the same. levels are the same so we'll get the lift down this time. In the last video I did, I refer to uh, the electric house as electricity house. It's not electricity house, it's electric house, so my mistake. I've just done a video on that. It's going to be converted into 40 apartments. It's going to be completely uh, cleaned up, have all new windows put in it. Because it is a listed building. I think, uh, grade 1, I think. Grade 2 listed building, sorry. I think it was built in the 1930s, I think. Yeah, 1930s. So, keep an eye out for that. When that starts, I'll do another video on that. Yeah, been more avenue this is. Yeah, the 
this is Rosely Road. Yeah, I resume when we get to the other car park, it's just up there because the walk around I did in the other video, you can see all that in the other video, so I'll resume when we get to the other car park. Okay, we're back. Uh, this is the Whitgift car park. Check out my previous video, I did the uh, Wicked Centre complete walk around, soon to be Westfield, because I've done the complete walk around the perimeter which includes this, so it's all on there and that. That's another entrance to the Whitgift Centre down there. Yeah, this is the Whitgift multi-storey car park. Uh, you might want to get the lift on to your legs, innit? Yeah, we'll go up the other way. I think this is a bigger car park, I think this holds uh, 1,100 cars, I think the other one was 900, I think. This car park's bigger. Yeah, it's another way, you cut up the steps there from Wellesley Road. Get the lift up. Yeah, I'll meet you up there, John, I'll take the stairs up. lift up because his legs are hurting him. He's done a lot of walking today. Both car parks have got 12 levels, I think. Not quite sure, it might be 10, I can't remember now. It. <laughs> yeah, this is a bigger car park. This is uh, Mark Spencer's, this is going to go everything there all the way down, it's all going to be pulled down. So yeah, this car park's going, that building there, Green Park House is going, and that office block there, and centre tower over the back there, that's going. That's where we just was, just the other side of that, where the car park, where the car park goes on. So yeah. 
There's a lot to knock down. Yeah, you've got quite a good view from up here. St Michael's Church there. There's plenty of permission to build two towers of 21 storeys and 25 storeys. So the 21 storey building will go about there and the 25 storey tower will go about there. I'll do a video on that in a minute. St Michael's Square is going to be called. Yeah, the church is staying, that's a great one listed building that's staying. Delta Point, that was uh, the regional office of BT, but now it's been converted into 404 apartments by Criterion Capital. Yeah, I'll do a video on that as well. Yeah, all this space here will be part of Westfield, Green Park House. Again. buildings here they'll stay there on the high street there so it's not fair that they'll stay if they'll build up to those some of them I think they're gonna take down but most of them are listed so yeah go right up to there that building just there yeah look at brick I think that's gonna go to part of the Whitney Centre yeah it's a bit windy up here so Surface entrance for loading and unloading. I think there's an entrance to this public story just there as well. I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but that white building just over there, over there, that's the Elia Hospital. Right in the distance, I don't suppose you'll be able to see that one here, because I've got to zoom on this. I'm not sure about that development over there, what that's going to be. I'm not sure about that. Oh yeah, that one is uh, Cairo New Road, the other one I was thinking of is over there. Stuff it's a 
nó ở đây mất điện It's building here, Saffron Tower, 43 stories. That's an apartment building, I think it's 700, 750 apartments, is it, if I can remember offhand? Saffron Square behind. distance over there now you can see the shard just there zoom on this so I can't really zoom in on far away things but you can see the shard just about there sticking up. Anyway, we'll get the lift down now. Going down. Please mind the doors. Doors closing. Going down. Level one. I suppose they're not maintaining it, I suppose. Doors opening. They're pulling it all down soon, aren't they? Yeah, Green Park House, this is going to go. What we've just looked at. We'll walk around this way because we didn't do this in the last video, so. Yeah, definitely check out that last video because I did a complete walk around of what will be Westfield. I'll stick some images of what Westfield will look like at the end of this video, so... The next one I'll do, I'll do a walk around inside the Whitgift Centre before it closes. I'll do a complete walk around of the inside, so... I'll probably do that over about two or three visits, something like that. <laughs> 